quick. Attention healing or focused healing or competition healing for IGP should soon next step. So uh, previous exercise we taught the dog to be attentive. He learned the command look and he learned to uh, look at you for extended period of time up to one minute without you encouraging the dog or giving any correction so the dog just needs to be focused my next step is that i need to start moving right because healing it's a, a emotion exercise uh, so how do we progress from that today we'll, we're gonna try um, I, I will have to figure out as I go how I'm going to explain to this dog that I need to when I move he needs to move with me and so he needs to learn actually two kind of sections of this exercise one section is that if I move move along that's one and second when I stopped you need to sit so with this I'm gonna start helping him with different uh, commands which uh, when I move forward I will use my command FUS which means healing and uh, as soon as I made one step and I stopped I will say sit uh, and then I really want the dog to keep the focus looking at me and keep the position being straight so this is a very difficult step for the dog to learn and be able to do all of this so we might have to compromise today and uh, lose some of the um, maybe attention or maybe the position but for the, for the dog to learn to move along so I'll focus on that the dog needs to figure out that we need to he needs to move along with me and then we'll we'll take it from there see how it goes come on let's go so one other thing good boy I'm using ball now and the position for, for the healing position for the ball is under the armpit. I want the dog to be very straight. I don't want him to anticipate ball being thrown anywhere. Look. Good look. Yes. Good boy. I start with this just to make sure the dog is still focused and then we progress to the next step. Good boy. Sit. Look. Fuss. Good. Yes. Good boy. He made this. Very good. He moved along. Uh, but I have to, to be honest with you. I've tried a little bit before the recording. So he kind of, uh, at first I had to drag him with me. Uh, by the color which helped him to move along right now he's a bit too crooked when he sits so I need to figure out how to fix that let, 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 let's see uh, let's keep working on him moving along with me and then we'll, we'll focus on the rest Hi. himself well I help I'll help him a little bit but he moved back into the right position and I had to reward it right away because I need him to know I want you to be this way your your butt needs to be behind and it looks like he started figuring this out so I do make a correction then uh, if the dog is crooked and I tell him hey and I navigate him to the proper position come on try again Sit. Look. Puss. Good. Puss. No. Correct. No. Good. Puss. No. Uh -uh. Better. Puss. 
Fuß. 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 No. 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 Fuß. Fuß. <laughs> no. No. Stop bumping into me. Come on. No. You crooked. No. No. Good. Very good. That's good. Fuß. Yes, very good, very good. I reward only when he's straight. And uh, I start making, I tried to make a circle to kind of go around him to prevent him from swinging. That didn't work yet. So I'll reserve that for the next session. Hey, uh, but then I start making very small steps and that help him stay in position. That's what I rewarded. So we're gonna finish with that. He did very good and uh, that's our homework. Happy training! So uh, after I recorded my previous video on uh, healing uh, and explained that we need to start moving forward, uh, we had a session but I was not really happy with it and I thought we'll keep practicing so he needs to figure it out. And I also need to figure out how to control him in a better position and it looks like we've made some progress and I just want to show you what we've done because it might help you as well. Come on. Come on. So the, the trick was to position the ball here. Uh, your dog will look at the ball, you'll have to correct him strongly to make sure he's looking at you. And then start moving. Very good. Look. Fuss. Good. Fuss. Good. Fuss. Yes. Good boy. Even though I rewarded when he looked at the ball a little bit, but his body is much straighter than in my previous session, which is actually the reason I wanted to show this to you. So just keep practicing uh, and uh, make sure that the dog keeps the attention because the focus is everything. If he looks around, his body shifts. If he keeps looking at you, his body is straight. And now I'm helping him to be straight by having the toy outside of him. So he's trying to lean closer to me. And because he knows the toy is here, he's anticipating to go after toy this way. So it means that it controls his butt. So if previously I had a ball here, so he would swing towards me to see the ball. Now I'm doing the opposite. And that helped to keep his body straight. Happy training.